Cry 5 11400 alongside its 6 cores and 12 threads has also got an integrated GPU, namely the Intel UHD 730, which is basically a cutoff version of the Intel UHD 750, Intel's main competitor in the iGPU market. So at times like this, where GPUs are very expensive and rarely available on store shelves, having an integrated GPU can be very helpful. Especially if that integrated GPU is from recent times and has some power in it to run some of the most recent games. Speaking of power, we should now check out how this iGPU does in some of the most demanding games of today. So I prepared a very wide range of games which will be tested on this iGPU. Games like eSports titles, older games and the very recently released AAA titles. As for the recording software I will be using, it will be Intel's solution for integrated GPUs. So this will be a nice test for the recording software, as Intel claims there will be no performance lost when recording. So without wasting any more time, let's move on to the benchmarks.
One thing you should be aware of when going for such kind of a setup is that the recent games will all require more than 8 gigs of RAM, due to the memory usage of the iGPU, so I wouldn't really go with any less than 12, with 16 being more than recommended. As for Intel's recording software, I can only say that I'm generally surprised at how well they managed to do it, with the claims of having no performance impact being actually true, and as you saw, the recording is also quite decent, so I'm very impressed with that. One thing I'm not really impressed about is the actual performance of the GPU, especially in any more demanding titles, so as it seems, you can play esports games like Valorant or CSGO. But I honestly expected a bit more, especially since AMD's recent offering of the best generation of APUs could offer quite a bit more, but that will be a topic for another day and another video.